Hello, I'm Arthur. Welcome to my lab. As a follow-up to my stepper motor video, let's today take a look at adjusting the stepper motor current. And that's usually done by adjusting reference voltage, which is done by uh, adjusting this trim pot right here. And the way you do this is you measure the voltage on the center of this trim pot and that voltage multiplied by 2 for this particular driver chip is the, the current rating, uh, current that's driving your motor. And this is true for this particular type of um, driver board which uses DRV8825 chip. There are some other chips that are being used and, and some other uh, circuitry and for those the uh, rate may be a little bit different so always double check that don't rely on the current always being twice the voltage on on the trim pot but for this particular style of the board that's what it is so we need to measure the voltage here in the center of the trim pot and then um, that will give us the current that's driving the motors and of course we need to look up uh, in the motors manual or data sheet what that current should be. Usually the data sheet will give you the maximum current with which you can drive a motor. That doesn't necessarily mean that that's the current you should be using. That's just the maximum. You should not go beyond that because the motor will overheat. Uh, it will wear out much faster. But if possible, you should really use a much smaller current. You should find a sweet spot where the current is sufficient to move your mechanics but um, just a little bit more than that so if if your mechanics moves at uh, let's say half an amp and the motor is capable of running at two at one amp then you could probably add I don't know maybe uh, 100 milliamp maybe 250 so setting current to let's say 600 or uh, 750 milliamp somewhere in that range would be a good spot probably for that particular scenario. So it's it's worth to uh, experiment but at least you need to know what your maximum current should be and look for a spot that's somewhere less than that but still um, enables your motor to run reliably. So let's take a, a closer look at um, this trim pot and usually these trim, trim pots will have this uh, flat edge here in the rear so that's that's the back of your trim pot which means that the tip of your trim pot will be on the opposite side right here and as a ballpark setting for this particular board I usually set my trim pot to um, point at three o'clock if, if we uh, had a face of a clock on top of this trim pot this would be noon, this would be 3, this would be 6, this would be 9, right? So I would set my trim pot to point at 3 o'clock. And another way you can determine where that tip of your trim pot is, where the, the wiper is, is if you look at your trim pot right, right here, let me adjust the focus a little bit. This little V-shaped thing right here, right, right above the black on the trim pot body. This V-shaped, that's actually the wiper. That's what makes the contact with the carbon that's deposited on, on the trim pot body. And so this is the tip, and it needs to be pointing, for a ballpark setting, it needs to be pointing to again about three o'clock right now it's pointing a little bit lower so the current will be a little bit less but the three o'clock position is is a good starting point so let's plug in this driver into um, my test circuit and see what kind of currents and voltages we get and let's see how we can adjust this All right, so my driver uh, board is plugged into my test circuit. Let's apply power. Okay, 
And as you can see, the motor is spinning. That's just a little test motor, but you can obviously use uh, your regular stepper motor. And the easiest way to adjust the trim pot while measuring voltage on it is to use a metal screwdriver. And these trim pots, they look like they use Phillips tip because there's a cross in, in the middle of them. Um, <clears throat> but it's actually much easier to use a flat blade screwdriver uh, for adjustment. And just put a test clip connected to your voltmeter. Put that clip on your screwdriver and then you can uh, put the screwdriver on your trim pot and you'll see the value, the reading of the voltage while you adjust your trim pot. So right now I have a reading of 0.455 volts which means that the current driving my motor is about 900 milliamps. So now if I turn the screwdriver counterclockwise I will increase that current so now now my current is again twice the voltage and in this movement is really very very precise you don't move that trim pot very much at all so you really have to like get your value in in the ballpark is enough so not, now is uh, my current driving the motor is about 1.26 amp and i can increase that current a little more and you have to read the data sheet for your driver chip and see how much current it can actually deliver to the motor so right now i'm, I'm about 1.6 amp and let's actually reduce the value because I don't want to overheat my driver chip. So not right now it's about uh, half an amp that I'm driving this motor with. And we can verify that by plugging in a regular probe and just touching the center of the trim pot and we get reading of 269 milliamps so about uh, or 269 millivolts so about 500 milliamps uh, drive current for this motor and you really need to, to check the data sheet for your driver chip see how much current it can deliver to the motor what is the maximum and for DRV 8825 that's two and a half amp with a heat sink Without a heat sink, that current is considerably less. So keep that in mind. Uh, I really recommend putting heat sinks on all your driver chips, just to not not to worry about uh, overheating them. Uh, if you do overheat your driver chips, the thermal protection will kick in and your motor will stop, and so you'll see uh, intermittent intermittent movement on your um, axis or if it's a motor on the extruder then you'll have extrusion problems where uh, your filament will be under extruded so that's uh, when, when you see that that's worth checking whether your um, driver overheats so that's how you adjust the current and again you want to use as little current as possible set that voltage to as little as possible just a little bit more than the minimum required to make your mechanics, whatever it is, move.